Hi, welcome to my second watch face video. My name is Christine and I am a certified clockology addict. <laughs> so, without further ado, let us get started. Create a new layer and choose default. Let us make our first layer. Tap the plus button and choose gradient texture. Tap the arrow button to edit the layer we made. Set the direction to diagonal. Choose pink as a starting color, and, blue for the end color. Tap the arrow button to go back in main page. Next, we add another layer. Choose the color shape. Let's edit the color. Choose color gray. For the shape, choose rounded rectangle. Set the scale to 1.03. Back to main page. Before we continue, let me share one way on how to organize layers for less stress. Ah! Create a layer and choose custom text. Tap the T icon. Type any name you want for the layer. I will be typing background for this project. When done, go back to main page. Tap the eye icon to turn it off the layer. This eye icon is to make the layer visible or invisible layer. Next is, tap the edit button to turn into layers edit mode. Then, hold the three gray lines, while sliding up to move the layer. Remember, that layers below always overlap the above layers. Long press the color shape layer to duplicate. Edit the color and choose green. Scale to 1.01. .01. Go back to main page. Let's add another layer by duplicating the color layer we have. Let's edit the color. But this time, we will add a new color that is not in the list. Choose the gray color which is fourth from the right. Select the color we added. Scale the layer to 0 0.96. Back to main page. Duplicate another color layer again. Make sure to duplicate the last layer in a row. Make the color as black. And scale it to 0 0.93. Back to main page. Create a gradient texture layer. Choose radial for direction. Start color choose the sky blue. End color choose black. 
set alpha to 0.58, and scale to 0.76. Now we are done with our background, let us save our work. Yahoo! Just slide down to save. Then, long press the clock again to edit. We are now making the dials. We need a new folder like layer, so, we duplicate the layer we did, or, you can create a new custom text label. Then, move to the lowermost layer. Change the layer name to Dials. Next is, create another custom text label and write 12. Edit the the font to Foo 2 Raw Extra. Choose black as color, outline color pink, and outline color width too. Set the scale and position. Back to main page. Next is, duplicate the number 12 we made. Set the position. Change the text to 6. Change the outline color to violet. Just add violet color to our color list. Duplicate the layer of 6 and edit. Since we are duplicating the layer, most of the value is same. We only need to change the position, the outer color and the text number. Once done editing the number 9, just do the same for the number 3. Duplicate the number 9 and edit to number 3. Now we have number dials, let us put some shape ring. Edit the shape ring. Change the value of type to fat box. Size 0.1. Color green. Outline width to 0. Count 12. Pattern is hide every fifth. And the render shape is square. And, yes, we are done with our dials. The next thing we will create is the middle designs. Again, create a layer to serve as our folder. I will choose middle design as name because we will be creating design in the middle of the watch. Once done with the folder layer, let's start by creating a shape ring. Create a shape ring and set the value. I originally made the type to flip triangle. But the time I was recording this video, I forgot to set it. Set the value of the ring to, type thin box or flipped triangle. Size 0.2. Color white. Effect with approximate value of 1. Count as 12. Pattern all on. And the render shape is circle. Show the properties, and set the scale to 0.69. Once done, 
Duplicate the shape ring you have just made. Set the value of the ring. Again, sorry, I got the wrong type of ring during the video. Set the value of the ring, type thin box or circle. Size 0.2. Color green. Count as 60. Pattern all on. And the render shape is circle. Show the properties, and set the scale to 0.55. Once done, go back to main page. Create an hour and set to radar. We are using this radar as our thin circle, for design only. Set the hour, type as radar, color white, and scale it to 0.94. The next is, make a shape ring, and set the value. I know you are getting tired of this shape ring, do not worry, we are getting done with it. Set the value of the ring, type flipped triangle. Size 0.2. Color green. Count as 24. Pattern all on. And the render shape is circle. Show the properties, and set the scale to 0.39. Back to main page. Let's make use of our again as a design. Create our layer. Set the value. Type as thin dial. Color pink. Outline color sky blue. Outline width 1.0. Effect almost 1.0 and the scale is 0.59. Now we are creating a shadow for the hands. You can turn it on or off later, if you prefer no shadow. I love making this shadow layer, because it gives more depth to the hands. Create an hour layer. Let us create a shadow for hour. And set the value of type which is Cape Cod. Color is pink. Outline color is black. Outline width is 4.0. Give an effect approximate 4.0 and alpha 0.50. Let's make another layer for minute shadow. Set the value of type which is Cape Cod. Color is pink. Outline color is black. Outline width is 4.0. Give an effect approximate 4.0 and alpha 0.50. Once done, go back to main page. Create the last layer folder for the hands. Make an hour layer and set the value of, type as Cape Cod, color pink, outline color sky blue, outline width 1.0. Next is hand for a minute. Make a minute layer and set the value of, type as Cape Cod, color pink, outline color sky blue, outline width 1.0. For second layer, set the value of, type as pointy, color green, outline color green, outline width 1.0 and animation smooth. Lastly, let us give a final layer. We put some accessory. Create a custom text layer.
and find an icon that will give look to your hands. Thank you for watching and please do not forget to click subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos to come. See you again. Bye.